Hello and a very good evening. Welcome along to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. It is Friday. I was literally no cheering. Friday. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Um, hopefully you've had a great day if you're here in the UK. Hopefully you are having a great day if you're watching Eastern Time. And hopefully you are about to have a great day if you're watching um, Pacific Time. If you're in Australia, hopefully you're having a great Saturday already. Nearly? Yeah. Nearly must be. Um, anyway, thank you for joining us here on Crafters TV. Final show of your Friday. We've got a masterclass where we are going to be concentrating on all things knitwit. Um, we've got some fantastic collections to bring to you at smash down low prices and some great demos to bring you as well. Also, I need to point out to you before we get going on the top of the show that Monday is the official start of our birthday. Can you believe it? 17 years and it is going to be amazing. I know a few of you will have seen um, some of the sneaky peeks on the socials. If you've not been on the socials today, uh, have a little bit of a look because we have got... Um, little kind of like, what would you call them, like teaser videos going out of everything which is coming up. Check Instagram, check Facebook. Um, it is going to be an amazing event. Talking about all of that on the website right now, you can get a bit of a heads up because if you haven't yet received your hard copy of the, uh, the booklet, you can get the downloadable booklet, which is available right now. And it's brilliant. All you do <laughs> is you click on my face <laughs> There's me, me blowing a, uh, what do you call it, like a party favour? You know, the ones that go, like that. Right, you click on that and then it takes you to the booklet page and then you get this <laughs> in digital form and you can click on it. And as you click on it, it I'm not going to open it up, um, but you, it opens up all the pages and you can see everything that's coming up. You can see all of the launches. You can see all of the days of what's happening, where and when. You can see who's going to be doing the show so you know, you know uh, when your favourite people are on. Um, it's going to be amazing. There's loads of exclusives in there. I mean, I mean, oh, I mean, it's going to be, it's going to just be wow, <laughs> and going to be, whoo -hoo, and it's going to be wow. Make sure you download it if you haven't yet got it and check it out. Some good reading for you over the course of the weekend. Now we are here, as I say, with a masterclass. We're very excited because uh, not only are we bringing to you Knitwit um, collections, which we absolutely love, but we have got the amazing Michelle McCarthy with us today. And can I just say, she is smashing it out of the park as far as the demos go today. I mean, she always does. But today, Michelle, you have set yourself a high benchmark this evening. Because if you're going to live up to where you've already been today, I mean, the demos tonight are going to be off the chart. No, I just thought I'd let it peter out. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Of course, I've got some fabulous demos. Of course, I have fabulous demos. And the great thing is about these knitwit collections is you get a little bit of everything, don't you? If you're if you're into your you know your die cutting and making cards from scratch, you can. But actually, with the top pads that you get, even yes. if you're quite new, these are great, aren't they? They are, and I think with the the demo that I showed you this morning, don't look at the top pad and think it's just to put the odd one or two topper on something. Um, you can really have a lot of fun with these. And like Ben just said, you get a little bit of everything. You've got toppers, you've got papers, you've got vellum card. Uh, in one of them, there's the foam, you've got dies. Um, you've got so much in there. They are, are really, a, I think, a staple. Because, I mean, the patterns and the colours you're going to use and you're going to come back to time and time again. We are going to kick things off with the Homebody Collection. I must just say a few hellos because we've got Superstar Susie on the socials tonight. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's Friday. Superstar Susie. Uh, Lorraine Horner joins us saying hi. Hi. Ben McCarthy says good evening, everyone. That's your Ben, that is. It is. Yeah. It's my Ben. I should start saying my Ben like you say my Lara. Yeah, it's so weird. You, you, you always say that. I say yeah. that and I'm not, I'm not aware that I'd say that as much as yeah. I say no, it. No, I think it's lovely. Oh, your Ben. <laughs> Rosalind is in from Maryland. Hi, Rosalind. Hi, Beth from Upstate New York. Hi, Mary Reno. She says hello again uh, from La La Land. La La Land. In super rainy and windy Maine. Tess is in. Oh, Charlotte. You know, earlier on, Tess said that she was looking out of the uh, window. She's in Wisconsin. Uh, where is that, Wisconsin? She doesn't know where that is. Where is Wisconsin? Um, Charlotte says, Tess, please can you send a picture of the snow? She likes the snow. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Where is Wisconsin? Wisconsin is in... Is that America. <laughs> is it Ohio? Michigan? 
Are you actually Googling it, Charlotte, or are you just saying Wisconsin? <laughs> it's next to... It's next to the three lakes. They're not they're being really unhelpful. <laughs> Susie, help me. Help me. Um, Maureen is in from northern Italy. I love Italy. Uh, hello, everyone, from a slightly overcast East San, East San Francisco base. This is Kate. Hi, Cynthia, from Salt Lake City, Utah. Hi to Mary Pat, who says, good morning, everyone, from a sunny Montana. Hi to Olga from Brooklyn, New York, who's at work. Um, and Laurie says, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Happy Friday. Yeah, baby. <laughs> and hi to Kate, who says, look at Ben, who's down with the time zones. I am down with the time zones. Hi to Tammy Boke, who is with us from South Dakota. And hi to Kate, who says, Michelle's top is really bringing the bright today and banishing the clouds this morning. Aww. Mm. Had a lot of nice comments about Michelle's um, top today. Just a lot less comments about Michelle overall today because she is absolutely smashing it out of the park. Thank you. <laughs> knitwit homebody now we've got two knitwit collections to bring to you this evening this is the one that you need to get your hands on more than the other just for the fact that everyone's going for this one um because it's an amazing collection and you're getting a 50 percent saving off the price that it should be and then of course on top of that you'll get your club inspired discount too so platinum members you're 38 pounds 40 48 dollars if by the way you haven't yet signed up to the club make sure you do it because you'll get this price today 20 percent off your first order and then of course when it comes to birthday, where I know loads of people are going to be shopping, you're going to start earning those points, climbing up the ladder and saving more as you spend more. This is such a lovely collection. If you love your kind of like homely um, sort of feel, if you love your florals, if you love Kath Kitson, um, you're going to absolutely <laughs> love this collection because it is absolutely stunning. And, and what is so great about this is that you've got kind of big sort of focal points you've got plenty of snippability but then on the reverse as well you've got sort of less florally um sides if you like so you've got patterns on here as well which will work not only with the the a side so your a side and your b side obviously these will work perfectly together but you've got lots of patterns that you can take out elsewhere within your crafting i mean for floral levels lovers michelle this is just an absolute must-have isn't it it really is Look and what that. i love about it is it's um it's it's busy and overly floral on some pages, but it's still pretty and beautiful. Yeah. You know, sometimes they can be busy and, and you don't know what's going on and it's it's not pleasing to the eye. That's busy, but in a beautiful way. Absolutely right. And some of these as well, like this here, I mean, you almost want, would want that on your walls at home. Yes, I love that. I would I would definitely wallpaper somewhere with that. Yeah, it, it's really beautiful. And that is just your um, 12 by 12 paper pad. That comes with this, which is always my favourite with the Knitwick collections, the die cut topper pad where there's 24 sheets, right? But they are absolutely jam packed full of toppers that will just simply pop out of the cardstock for you. So you literally just pop those out, manipulate them out and away you go. And this one is all about um, the home. So you've got your front doors and your garden gates and your keys. You've got lots of kind of homely sentiments in there and frames. You've got the alphabet as well, three times over. So you've got the ability to be able to personalize here. You've got lots of little um, kind of letters and envelopes in here. So if you want to add little embellishments to your projects, as Michelle showed, showed beautifully earlier on too, you know, you've got plenty of elements here that are going to allow you to make brilliant pop-up cards. If you miss wake up call this morning, make sure you go back and check that out. But beautiful frames, as well as your letters, you've got all of your numbers. So total personalization here, lots of great little elements that you can use as focal points for your cards as well so it's all about the quick card making and even floral frames you know decoupage elements that you've got in here too there is so much um and without being able to exactly put a number on it by the way borders and strips in here there's well over 900 individual toppers within that paper pad so you've got that included am i taking too long here i'm waxing lyrical because i love this collection you, you've got um bows um, buttons and lace there's 68 individual pieces within your embellishments and then you're also going to get on top of that foam flower forming foam in four fantastic colors you're going to get all of your cardstock as well so this is pearlescent card four different colors 24 sheets so six sheets of each and then the hardware. So to go with your flower forming foam, we're going to give you your pretty peony die set. So of course, you know, you can obviously use this with 
other elements uh, aside from your uh, flower forming foam but you know what we put the foam in there so make sure you're using that with this collection to create some really gorgeous peonies all of the different sized uh, petal heads and then your leaves in there too to make those gorgeous flowers we popped in the house in there as well so you've got your elegant abode absolutely beautiful again matching this in with the color scheme and theme that you've got within this collection to create really beautiful sort of springtime summertime cards again cut in black maybe add some um you know uh, yellow card slot behind here to create that kind of effect of light coming through to create like a haunted house potentially halloween on the scene this is a great collection to do it because you've got the spooky gates and the bats there as well which obviously aren't spooky if you cut them into a different color of cardstock and of course they're not bats they're flowers but the point is it's a really really versatile collection jam-packed full of craftability for £38.40 or $48. I'm telling you, it is um, a really, really great deal. So pick it up this evening. Bear in mind as well, if you've already got the Home Body Collection and indeed the Kindly Thoughts Collection that we've got coming up for you later on, we do have uh, separate bundles where you can get all of the consumables without all of the, 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 the dice. So if you've already bought the dice and you're thinking, oh, I could do it topping up on the paper pads, check the Shop the Day page for that. We'll probably flash up the details for you later, but there are individual bundles of the um, consumables. Hi to Stephanie, who's joined us from Palm Springs. Hello to Carolyn Astin Smith from Phoenix. Hi, Judy Jackson from Arizona. Carol D from a slightly damp, but not nearly wet enough, Southern California. And hi to Tammy, who says the Nitwit set is so perfect for the basic greetings to a fancy birthday or anniversary. Into the basket it goes. Boom, Tammy. Great buying. And that's even without seeing all of the fantastic award-winning demos you're about to see over the course of this show. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to, yes, I'm using the home body. I wanted to make sure, I was going to say homemaker for some reason. Homemaker. But you, me, me and words have not been friends today, so uh, our numbers. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just generally. <laughs> Just generally you know. speech. Yeah. Um, so I've picked a few of the toppers. So I've gone through my uh, book that I've got at home and I've popped a few out. So I've popped the word home out. I've got one of those beautiful keys with the floral on there. I've got this home runs on love and laughter. And then I've got that lovely white picket fence with that gate. Um, so when you get these, when you pop them out, I just thought I'd, I'd show you what I do. So I had three pairs of scissors two minutes ago and now I've got one. Oh, Bear with you've me. got two pairs of scissors? I had three. Oh. <laughs> I think someone's been nicking my scissors. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Craig, when you, uh, when you pop these out, you're going to have those lovely pips on the side. So all I do is on these square ones, I just run my scissors down the edge. Are they that visible? Um, yes, oh. if you can, yeah, uh, no, but no, but yeah, but no, but no, yeah, but no, but yeah, <laughs> <Yes>. but <laughs> um, They can be, sometimes they can be, and sometimes you don't necessarily notice them. Yeah. But so what I will do is on one like this, I will snip it with my scissors. And then sometimes you will get ones like this and I can't quite get my scissors in there, but I can see that one. So what you're going to do is you're just going to get a little bit of sandpaper and you're just going to sand it away. Okay. And that works just as brilliantly. If you if you're a little bit like me and those pips annoy you, I think I think if you're going to go to the effort of making a card, you want to get rid of those pips because some will come out and you won't even notice them, mm. but some don't, and some you'll get that are right on a corner there, and it looks like you haven't cut it properly. So it just you're just going to use a little bit of sandpaper. So that's all I do. That I've always got that in my kit with me. That bit of sandpaper, I use it for all sorts. So I'm not going to go around and take the pips off all of these, but that is what I do. So I've got my few little elements there. So I think what we'll do is we'll pop together what we would be um, a little home, a welcome home or um, new home gift for someone. Yeah. So I have got a piece of card here and it's 11 and 2 eighths of an inch and it's three and a half inch. And we're going to make a little pocket just for on the front of my card with this. So... We're just going to fold and score all of these. So it's going to end up being, let me just measure it, it's going to be five inches wide by just a half inch deep. And I thought it's perfect for popping on the front of a little gift. You can be popping um, a little pen and a notepad in there. Oh, nice. Uh, you could pop just a little gift in, a little welcome, just some small welcome gift. Mm. 
So let me just fold all these. So again, that's just a half inch deep. All my um, tabs are a half inch wide. Let's say hi to Stephen, who, who enjoyed the craft alone today. Stephen, can you please send in a picture? Because we saw your picture that you put on Facebook and it was amazing, wasn't it? It was. Did you I, sit, yeah, did you yeah. Um, so send in your pic we can, so we can share it with everybody. Uh, studio at craftlesscompanion.co.uk. We would love to show everyone. Um, and thank you to Susie. Wisconsin is in the middle north of the US, in between Minnesota and Michigan. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> do you know what that's exactly where i thought it was i, I knew you were on the cusp of saying that weren't you <laughs> that's yeah, it literally Absolutely. where was it again yeah just there yeah yeah <laughs> middle north of the u.s between minnesota and michigan um hi also to laurie says the nitwit homebody is really a clean and fresh collection it is that yes um and lots of you saying that when you have these collections too that you cut off the little the little bits. I always cut those little nibs off, says Rhonda. Yeah. Um, Carol D, I cut them too. I can't stand them. I use an emery board to smooth them off as yeah. well. Is that like um, a nail, nail file? file. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's exactly it, uh, what I use. If I'm at home, I've got like an emery board um, in my craft kit. I've got mm. that little piece of sandpaper, which is what I always tend to use. But sometimes getting into those little, those little bits, you just can't quite get with your scissors. So it's definitely worth having. I suppose, like you say, if you're, if you're popping it onto a different colour of card stuff, it's more likely to show up, isn't it? It is, If you're going to yeah. do it properly, why not? You know, well, that's it. It's, it's not that much extra effort to do. No. So I'm just popping this together. I've got glue all over my fingers now. you got what? Glue. I just stuck my fingers right in that glue. So... Oh, come on. I've got a, a string. You know when you can see a, like a, a piece of hair or a string or something, but you can't get it? <laughs> That's just what I was just doing then. So there we go. So I have got the oh, this Ooh, card yeah. pad. Look at that pink. Mm. It is just the most beautiful pink. And again, it's got that um, pearlescent coating on and it's a white car. So again, if you want into do that rough edge distress lock that is absolutely perfect for it hi to patty who's joined us from california um also hi to carol who says hi to everyone from wisconsin now wisconsin is in the middle north of the u.s in between minnesota and michigan <laughs> I don't, oh i know my, my u.s knowledge is is great it is, uh, it's brilliant. Yeah, and hi also to Mary Beth Doyle. says, hello again, everyone, from Minnesota. Now, Minnesota <laughs> is very near to Wisconsin. Yeah, and also Michigan. They're all kind of quite near to each other in the middle north of the US. <laughs> Thank you. It's just so big, the US, isn't it? I forget where everywhere is. I reckon if you showed me a map of the US, I, aside from a few kind of places like maybe like Florida, or maybe like New York, uh, yeah. California, like San Fran. I, if you asked me to point out, I don't know, a lot of places, I would have no clue. I would literally just be like, point. <laughs> My US geography is terrible. What, what's yours like? Well, pretty, not, not great, really, from the sounds of, <laughs> sounds of it. <laughs> My geography in general is shocking. Is it? In fact, it was, a, I don't know if I mentioned it to you, but um, my son, Oliver, he likes to come down and he'll go, quiz time. Oh, no. <laughs> and I'm quiz like, time? no. So he, I think he just likes to ask me random questions about things that, you know, I don't know. Um, what, 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 quizzing you on what? J anything? Everything. But oh. um, I discovered not so long ago that Egypt is in Africa. Yeah, North Africa. I just thought Egypt was in Egypt. <laughs> 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 I never just even like thought about it. Around in the, the it's just somewhere, you know, like this Italy, this France. Yeah. And I just thought, you know, Egypt. Egypt it's just... So he, he takes great pleasure in reminding me on a daily basis. That is um, a bit, that's a bit cruel, isn't it? I think, you know, I think it's the shame that makes me remember what he's told me. Because, you know, if I forget after he's sort of insulted me for not knowing that. Mm. I mean, he does it ever so nicely. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> you 
you know, what can I say? <laughs> it's funny, isn't it, when you start to learn off your, uh, off your kids? Oh, I know. Um, what was it that George was telling me the other day? Um, oh, I can't remember. But a lot of the stuff he comes up, he's, he's so matter-of-fact about stuff that I, I sort of, I will ask, you know, just obviously being interested and pretending that I already know the answer. And he'll <laughs> tell me the answer and I'm thinking, all right, that's uh, a lot more thorough than I thought you were going to explain it. <laughs> stuff like, like he's very good at like his sciences and, and, and things like that, which I was always rubbish at when I was at school. And he, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll tell you stuff like so matter of fact, yeah. as, as if like you know, everybody should know yes. all of the points of w the, the different things on the periodic table or, do, do you know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, of course, yeah, of course, they're sort of learning it all the time, but it makes me realise how much I, I don't know <laughs> about a lot of things. And yeah. do you know what? I wasn't that bad at school. I got really good grades yeah. through the year, mm. but it's like, it's just I forgot it all. Yeah. I, if you don't, yeah, if you don't use it, it's my excuse. I don't need to know where... Egypt is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, I was going to say, unless you go on holiday, but you still don't even need to know when you're going on holiday. Where no. You just get on the plane, don't you? <laughs> you know, you're not driving there. <laughs> <laughs> um, Susie just says, we need to get you a, a big US map for the studio so we can put pins into the different places people watch from. Yes. A UK map and then a world map. I love that idea. I think we, we could, should. I'm not sure um, Boss would be too happy, but we could pin it on the covers here, <laughs> couldn't we? And then just like stick yes. pins in to our lovely, our lovely studio. I'm up for that. I really am. Because I'm just genuinely interested as to where everyone is in the US. Annie Cagle says, I think that all of the UK would fit inside of Texas alone. Yeah. Mm. Um, Barbara's in from Buffalo, New York. I think I could just about point to that. <laughs> oh, no, but I know that's New York State, though, isn't it? It's, no, I couldn't. And then <laughs> Lillian says, I know where New Orleans and New York are. Lillian, you're in, you're in London, aren't you? So that'd be, that would be a good little um, game to play crafts right. Oh, uh, is that just because you know that you'd win? <laughs> no, well, I wouldn't. Have. If it was UK, I probably would. I'd like to think my UK knowledge is fairly good. But if we had a game like point out where our viewers live, then I would, I would be useless at that, you know? Oh. So if it was... You know, uh, Amanda in Buffalo, New York, point out where that is on the map. I mean, I don't know why I'm looking behind me. It's not even there. But, um, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, useless. One for the future, though, potentially. One for the future. Uh, EB's in from Missouri, uh, saying hello there. Hello there. I have no idea where that is. Missouri, anyone? No. Is that up, down, left, or right? We're going left, apparently. We're going left. <laughs> So all I'm doing now is I've made this little box. I've popped it on the front of my card. I've just done a temp fold card. I've matte and layered with some white, some of that beautiful pink again, and the paper. And the home that I've popped out in this, and I'm just debating whether I want to, where I want to put them, whether yeah. I want them down the side. And, and that's it with these. You get to have a really good play. Uh, have a little bit of fun. Mm. And do I want that on there? Ooh. See, there's just so many elements in there. I yeah. think I like that better. Do I? Uh, what do we think? The gate there, you cover up all the lovely well, flowers. Well, that's it, isn't it? But if I pop that there, you still get to see all yeah. that. So just going to pop it on a couple of foam pads. And that's it. So giving this to someone as a gift is brilliant. You can pop anything in there. You could pop some cookies in there. <gasps> cookies. You keep mentioning <laughs> cookies today. <laughs> well, everything seems to be cookie-sized today. Yeah. So again, I'm just going to pop these onto some foam pads and I think we're just going to pop them down the side. Tess says geography lessons today. See, that's the thing though. Would our US viewers be able to, if we put up a map of England, for example, would you be able to point out where the different plate, like if we said point out Bristol on a, the, the map of England, yeah. would you be able to point out where that is? Hmm. So that'd be interesting to see. We should definitely do this as a... Um, <laughs> should get Jenny in. <laughs> one of our, <laughs> our ladies who works here for the US. We'll get her in. We'll have a competition. So she, yeah, but that, that's unfair because she's lived here. <laughs> oh, that says I bet she can only point out where Darlington is. <laughs> All right, what? 
Well, you guys, you guys can put it to her and see what she says. <laughs> I bet she says no. Right, so what I'm going to do with this mm. is, because we've got that lovely pocket on the front where we're going to pop a little gift in or mm. they're going to have a pen and, you know, a little notepad in, when we stand it up, it's quite heavy at the front oh, and yeah. it's, it's going to pop open. So what I've done is I've created this little stand. So all it is, it is six inches by the width of the card, which is eight and two uh, eighths of an inch, which is just the width of an A4. Um, so what you can do is you can either just stand it in there if you want, which is all right, but it's it's a bit unfinished. So what we're going to do is we're just going to glue this side and this side onto the insides of the card. And then because I've got that lovely fold in the middle, it's still going to fold closed if you want to pop it in an envelope or a little gift box. But then when they get it out, they're still going to be able to stand it up, have it on display. Yeah. So let me just pop that open. I'm going to glue that tab to the back there. And again, if you're giving it as a gift and you're putting this in the middle and you've got nowhere to um, write your, uh, whatever it is that you're going to be writing in it, mm -hmm. you're just going to be able to pop it in that little pocket at the front with whatever gift that you are going to be popping it in there. So let me just fold that up and you can see it still folds perfectly flat. I bring in a couple of my buttons because it absolutely needs a couple of buttons. If you've got something and it comes with buttons, yeah. it's literally the law that you have to use them. Oh, crafty law. <laughs> crafty law. So I'm just going to use my hot glue. I'm going to pop those up there. You don't see a lot of buttons on cards in craft, do you? You don't. Not as many as there should be. No. I love a good button. I think they look adorable. But all, the holes have to be pointing the same way. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I kind of get that. It just looks a little bit neat. <laughs> and it's always three. Yeah. There we go. So if I turn that round for you and stand it up, you, you still got the ability to fold it flat, but that's going to hold it stood, stood nice and sturdy. I absolutely love that. And again, that kind of project with a kit like this is really achievable for, for all, isn't it? Yes, yeah, definitely. Um, that, that's why this collection is proven really popular today. The Knitwit collections are always popular, but when you get a big discount like we're seeing today, they are flying. Um, Cowley says, I love this idea for a phone notepad. Yes, I still have a landline. Hashtag ancient, says Carol. <laughs> that's not me saying that, that's Carol. Hashtag ancient. I know. <laughs> It's a, it's a weird thing though, isn't it, when you think about it. Like we have a phone, but as part of like our broadband package, you have to have a, have to have a phone line. But I can't remember the last time the home phone rang. No. It's so weird. Do I give my number out to people? Yeah, but that doesn't, I mean, yeah, certain well, people no, have got my house phone number. no, because then people would ring you. Huh? <laughs> no, because then people would ring. Well, I suppose. <laughs> But even when you never, like, even if you were ex-directory or you didn't hand out your number, you'd always get like the marketing companies who somehow find your number and ring you yeah. up. Yeah. But the phone never rings. Um, yeah. Hmm. Things of the past. <laughs> Landlines, eh? Back in the day. Um, yes to the UK geography quiz, says Kate. Being a jewelry comes in handy. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, we can potentially, we, I mean, I say we could do this. It's not going to be down to me. I don't organise the games on a Saturday, but I'll... Who, who's in charge of organising the games on Play Your Crafts, right? I'll put it to, Ni I'll put it to Nicola, uh, who organises. Uh, what's the game tomorrow? It is, you've got to... Um, <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. It's... <laughs> ben, stop doing that. Charlotte, say. Can't do it. She can't do it. It's... Ben, shut up for a second. <laughs> Come on, tell me and I won't do it. Go. It's to find the product that was released first. I'll still, out of two products, you, you've got to uh, okay. guess which one is the, was released first. <laughs> so you'll see two products tomorrow on the show and you have to guess which is the oldest. That's a fun game. Yes. And it gives us a 50-50 chance <laughs> of getting <Yeah>. it right. <laughs>
as well. I like them odds. I'll Me take them too. odds. I'll take that. I'll take 50 50. At least we'll try, at least we'll score a few points, don't we? That's it, yeah. Hopefully. Um, <laughs> Fabulous, says Catherine on that last um, make. Uh, Curran Heating says, great card, Michelle. Lovely card, Michelle. Uh, and Laurie Barnett says, my button... Oh, I like these button laws. My button law is they can't be naked. I have to string, thread, or put ribbon through the yeah. holes of the button. Oh, OK. <laughs> but you've gone naked. <laughs> I do apologise. <laughs> Uh, quick look through this collection. Uh, this is we're half an hour in already. Having fun tonight. Are you guys having fun? We are. Uh, we are having a lot of fun. I'm, I've got that world map idea in my head now. I feel I, I might go on uh, the internet later on and see if I can get like a cheap one. Maybe we can like do it over the weekend or something. Yeah. Like just have it. I could put it here and we can start marking that where people are. Yes. Or is that going to detract too much from the show? Oh no, it'll add to the show. You think? Yeah, I think so. I'm just genuinely interested. Anyway, uh, this is that gorgeous paper pad that you're going to receive. Um, 12 by 12, of course. Uh, you've got 24 double-sided sheets. It is 180 GSM, in case you were asking. Then you've also got your topper pad. I mean, this for me is just bang for your buck. These are brilliant. I love the topper pads. If you want quick, easy cards, easy makes, uh, then these are phenomenal. Again, the fact that you've got the um, ability to personalise with the numbers and the letters, you've got little stoppers, you've got little tags and embellishments, you've got frames, you've got decoupage elements. Oh, you've got the lot in there. Even little borders in there too. So you get those two. You also get within the collection, I'll quickly show you this because I think it was nice to see this a little bit earlier on and just to see how beautiful you've got that pearlescent sheen. Oh, yes, on the, uh, the cardstock. So you've got that sort of racing green. You've got um, pink, hot pink, hot pink. Then you've got like a, what, what sort of blue would you call that? Like a, not sky blue, is it? Um, no one's coming forward with a anything. A blue blue. A what? A blue blue. A blue blue. Blue blue. And then you've got like a sort of grass green. Yeah. Go with that. Everyone's just going, yeah. Just <laughs> hurry up then. <laughs> um, so then you've got your, you've got your card stock. Then on top of that, You've got your flower forming foam, 16 sheets in there, so four sheets of the four, uh, four different colours. Then you're going to get all of your buttons and your ribbons. There's 68 uh, embellishments, I think, in total within that set. <laughs> uh, and then you've got all of your hardware. So you've got your house, which is called Elegant Abude. Then you've got your pretty peonies. So those are all of your dies to be able to cut out your flowers and your leaves for your flower forming foam or indeed any of the other things you want to cut out from there and then you've also got your um, beautiful floral arch there as well uh, which i just think is brilliant as a collection at the normal price great at the price that you're getting it today ridiculous if you're planting them wow knock yourselves out and that is the question great question how long is it going to stay at that price that's what you've got to be asking yourself don't delay i honestly can't tell you i don't know the answer to that um but i know it's this price right now so if you love the idea of getting it 38 pounds 40 is your platinum price 48 dollars is your platinum price and don't forget if you do just if you got if you've got all the dies already think oh, i don't need the dies i've got them we do have bundles which you'll find on the shop the day page on the website which will allow you to get your hands on more of the toppers more of the um, embellishments and more of the paper as well so do have a look uh, a few comments and we'll get to a quick break hi to panda crafts who's joined us hi to michelle uh, and it's for you says afternoon all i made it um and Susan says, today I received my butterflies, my third order this week. Time to now sit on my hands. It's birthday starting on Monday. <laughs> you need to get off your hands then. Yes. Um, and Kirsty D says, I just ordered a scratch off map of the UK for my friends so they can scratch off where they've been in their caravan. I've never heard, have you heard of a scratch no. off map? Well, no. A good idea. I oh, think Charlotte. that's a great idea. Charlotte's got one. Huh. Where have you scratched off? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yours is a world, a world scratch off. It's, I think this one is, oh, this one's just a, oh, I don't know, actually, for my, a oh, map of the UK, yes. A world scratch off is good, though. Maybe we could get that instead then and scratch off all the places yes. people are watching. 
We did have a lady earlier on as well. Sorry, we'll get to break in a minute. Uh, who is watching from Italy? Um, let us know where you're watching from today. If you're outside of the America or UK particularly, I'd love to uh, find out where you are watching from this evening, this afternoon, or this morning. Let us get to a break though, because we have many of you with the Homebody Collection in your basket. So get that checked out, and we'll come back with more uh, random ramblings and great demonstrations in just a few moments' time. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So, join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all have time with each other! <laughs> You're not free to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. What makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're, they're um, really skilled at what they do. And they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. Community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100% is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. Time to get red carpet ready. Our sensational 17th birthday is nearly here and we're bringing the razzle dazzle to celebrate in serious style. Join us from the 17th to the 30th of October for the most sensational soiree of the season. Boy, do we have some treats in store for you. We have got a star-studded lineup of launches and so many crafty treats and surprises. So head on over to the Crafters Companion website to find out more. It's all coming. It's all very exciting. Monday, you would not want to miss it. If you want to find out, get a bit of a heads up as to what is going on. Don't forget, uh, you can get our digital booklet. It's now available to download on the website, craftsandcompanion.com.co.uk or .eu. Uh, pick this up and you'll find out everything uh, that you need to know as well as uh, dates for various shows, items which are launching, who's going to be on what show, everything you need is in there. Uh, it's on the website to download right now. Hi to Maureen Cumming, who joins us from Northern Italy. Hi also to Kathy Green from Mechanicsburg. Oh. Mechanicsburg in Pennsylvania. Oh. Mechanicsburg, what a great that place. That is so cool. Live. That sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah. 
no one, next time my car breaks down, I know where I'm going. <laughs> Mechanicsburg. <laughs> it's a long way to go to get your car fixed, isn't it? <laughs> Just actually. a little. And I won't get very far if my car's broken down. Mm. Anyway, it's a cool place. <laughs> Uh, hi to LQM. This is good morning from a foggy San Jose, California, also uh, known as the Bay Area of California. Hi to Eileen from Puerto Rico. Hi to Emilia from Chicago and Lisa Banuelos, who says Yucca Valley, California, next door to the Joshua Tree National Park and a half hour from Palm Springs. And hi to Ali Vermeer, who is watching from Capel aan den Isel in the Netherlands. Have I said that right? Kapel aan den Isel. I don't think I said it right. It's in the Netherlands. <laughs> Holland. I always find like Dutch is, um, I, I wish I'd studied, I did German and French at school. I wish like Dutch had been like an option because I find it's like a quite a very, um, it's like an interesting language to listen to. Yeah. I think. Um, but anyway, uh, kindly thoughts. This is the other collection that we've got on this show, the Nitwit Collections. This again is a great deal because it's a £82, $103 bundle that you're getting for £49 or $62. So you're saving £32, £41. It's a 40% saving, less than another 20 if you're platinum. So that's £39.20 or £49.60. Um, and once again, you have got consumable elements within this collection. Most notably, my favourite, the topper pads. Uh, this one's got a bit more of a... Um, I don't know, a springy sort of eastery feel to it, I feel, like with the blues and the yellows in here that you've got. Um, it's got that sort of feel, to me anyway. But once again, just as you're looking through here, you've got uh, plenty of tags. You've got, um, you know, circles and pennants in there. You've also got in this collection, you know, proper full-on kind of focal points for cars. Like, you, you think again about getting the most out of this collection. I mean, potentially, on smaller cars, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, I mean, there's 10 sort of cars there, really, isn't there? There really is. If you're doing little 4 by 4s or 4 by 6s that's yeah. nearly covering the whole front of your card. Yeah. And they're, they're a nice, big, beautiful topper, definitely. Yeah, and again, you've got embellishments. So bows, you've got frames in here. I mean, here again, you've got the ability, if you wanted to be able to kind of stamp on these with your own sentiments, you could, or indeed, just add in sentiments from this collection. Beautiful butterflies. I mean, there's so much strips and um, like borders that you've got in there as well. So perfect. These again, I always think like for maybe like box making potentially. Yes, the definitely. Do, do you know what it reminds me of? Is yeah. it like Sicily? Quite Sicilian, isn't it? With the oh, because like the, the tiles and the lemon. Lemons. The, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of got that feel to it. I think absolutely right. Again, um, frames, little sort of borders there. Little. I love the buttons. Yeah, they've got um, thread through them. They have. They're not naked. They are not naked. They're not rude. No nakedness <laughs> on this show. Well, actually, we did. We had some nakedness earlier, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> naked buttons, Jamie, you remember? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. No, you didn't. No, no. You were thinking of something else. What show were you watching? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, just naked buttons, Jamie. Just naked buttons. Uh, you <laughs> you're also going to get the uh, pearlescent cardstock with this collection. So again, uh, four beautiful colours to be working with. All 250 GSM. I love that blue. That is gorgeous. Like a, sort of like a midnight blue, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I love it. Um, yeah, you're getting 24 sheets here. Double-sided, 250 GSM. You won't get one with a big hole in it. Don't worry about that. <laughs> You're also going to get uh, sheets of your vellum included as well. So 24 sheets there. Then you're going to get all of your embellishments. I think off the top of my head, there's 128 embellishments in this pack because you're going to get buttons. You're going to get little... Um, 126, I was close. Don't you out of two. You've got buttons, little... Um, you call those like... A, they're not little gems, like little adhesive sort of pearls, if you like. And then you've got little um, buttons in there. Oh, buttons, that's definitely ribbon, Ben. You've got ribbon in there too. Then you've got uh, your dies in here. So you've got some beautiful edgeable dies. They're that brads. Huh? They're brads. Oh, are they brads? Yeah. Why was I saying they were buttons? Not buttons, little <laughs> adhesive. I've just, I've just gone into my, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Little brads. They are. Good job you checked. I haven't got, wow. yes, I've only got the board. So they're brads. <laughs> that's why there's so many I was wondering that's there, why thinking, they're so little <laughs> yeah brads uh, brads buttons and ribbon <laughs> then you've got the beautiful lace um, 
edible, I'm using my words now, catching. <laughs> Elegant lace, beautiful 3D embossing fulda called the Brilliant Florals. That's beautiful. And again, card in itself there, really. Bit of matting and layering. Add yeah. an embellishment. Couple Maybe a buttons. brad. Oh, yes. You could, yeah, you could attach it with brads. Yeah. So it's nice when you do that. Add a naked button. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, uh. ooh, uh, ooh uh. <laughs> Are your buttons naked? <laughs> and, <laughs> and then you could add one of these beautiful sentiments on there as well. And what I like about this is that the fact that you've got um, things like have a beautiful day, you've got things like thank you, but also you've got ones on there that potentially you hopefully won't want to use a lot, but you've got like your sympathy ones on there too. So I think it's a really, really lovely set of um, different sentiments. All in all, it is uh, cardstock, it is vellum, it is buttons, it is ribbons, it is brads. It stamps, it's dies for £39.20 or $49.60. Again, a really lovely um, collection today, saving 40%. Um, our Susie loves this collection as well, just saying she loves it so much. The blues are so pretty. It's a lovely, lovely collection. Love the kindly thoughts. Uh, even prettier in person, says Mary. And Carol D says, I accidentally ordered this collection twice. I loved it so much and I'm not, I'm not even mad about it. I'm not even mad. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Not about ordering it twice. I get what you mean. I say, what a funny thing to say. You've ordered it twice. You're not mad about it. You must be. Oh, yes, I understand what you mean. Um, it's flying out the door. It's very busy for this this evening. And again, if you don't want the full collection, we do have a smaller bundle with just the consumables within it. Check the Shop the Day page for more on that. Right, let's get cracking. Um, what are you going to show us from this collection? So again, I've popped... Um, a number of the toppers out because again um, I think sometimes we look at the topper pad and, and we're not quite sure what to do with it so I just wanted to show you something else that you can do with the topper pad so I've got lots of the butterflies a couple of the bows let me bring these few in as well um, and again you've got lots of different size choices so I've got a, a bigger bow there and a smaller one your butterflies all come in different sizes and then I've got a couple of the um, the sentiments just wishing you a very happy birthday and best of friends so i'm just going to pop that to the side for now because i'm going to bring in this card base so it is it's 12 inches by six inches so i've scored it at four inches there i've scored it at four inches on that side and then i've scored that side in half so you've got um what looks like an odd shaped card at the minute but it'll come together lovely trust me yeah so again, so that beautiful green, that got it's the most gorgeous green. It's so it's almost like um, racing green. Yes, you took the words right out, out of my, my mouth. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Meatloaf. Oh dear, yeah, Meatloaf. Meatloaf sang that song. He did. Oh, did. <laughs> um, Charlotte didn't get the. Um, oh, reference. the reference. Mm. You She's took too the young. Right out of my mouth. <laughs> If I you were kissing me. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't sing like that at all, did he? Meatloaf. Good old Mark. That was his real name. Did you know that? Marvin. Yeah. yeah. Marvin a day. Meat was his real name. <laughs> <laughs> Surname Loaf. First name Meat. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Loaf. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> He Ooh, suffered yeah. with incredible stage fright, didn't he? Hey? Suffered with um, really bad stage fright. I did not know that. Yeah, because when he used to go on stage, he used to go on and act a part. Yeah. Used, as if he was acting, because he couldn't go on otherwise. Ah. But I think, um, I think a lot of people do. I, I, I would find it weird if you, not like terrible stage fright, but if you're doing stuff on stage, particularly in front of like a live audience, I would feel weird if you, if you weren't like a little bit nervous yeah um but yeah i oh, mean they only passed away this year in, yeah in uh, in january apparently i loved all of that though like um you know bat out of hell um that album. and he, he came back and did a load of other stuff like i would do anything for love yeah and all of that i mean classic stuff wasn't bat out of hell or hasn't that just been announced as like the biggest selling album of all time Oh, I don't know about that, but I wouldn't be surprised because it was one, it's one of those albums, isn't it, that sort of seemed to stay on the charts for like years on end. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Somebody from here, because um, obviously there's the musical now, isn't there, in the West End, and someone from here went to see that recently. Oh, was it Kelly? 
Yeah, Kelly and Brent. Um, and that's supposed to be uh, supposed to be rather good as well. The full nine minute version of um, Bat Out of Hell at the end of the show. That was the thing that used to frustrate me when I used to be on the radio. When I was a radio DJ, <laughs> we always used to have to play, like you get classic songs like that, like Bat Out of Hell, eight minutes long. And we'd always have to play like the, the radio edit version, which yeah. was like three minutes 30 or something. And you'd miss all the good bits, but um, yeah. How do we get on talking to, about meatloaf? Oh, because I said you took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> Racing green. That's it. <laughs> Racing green. So I've got a piece of that uh, card, and it's five by three inches. Uh, because this is two inches, that is why they are two inches. I've got my tab at e either side, and we're just going to create a nice little um, pop-up element in this card. Uh, and again, so just a different way to use these elements, and a pop-up card mm. is always a good way. Obviously, a lot different to the one that I did the other day, or the other oh, the day, look. The day? <laughs> Earlier on. Earlier on, yeah. Sometimes it feels like an earlier day, doesn't it? it do you know what? Today's actually quite gone quite quick. Yeah. I think the shows have flown by. Yeah. The, the break in between this show and Craft Along was long. The two hours was, felt like two days. <laughs> so when I um, stick this down, that middle scar line, I'm going to line straight up with that and I've glued that down and then all I'm going to do with this tab is I'm just going to fold it under and flatten it down and it's just going to stick exactly where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. I don't need to worry about measuring or anything like that. So I've got now a nice little pop up in the middle of my card. Oh, cute. Is that where the little butterflies on sticks are going to go? Yes. Butterflies on sticks. <laughs> <laughs> you knew what I meant. <laughs> Not that funny. No, that was so funny. <laughs> Butterflies. <laughs> what? Skewered. Skewered butterflies. <laughs> I was like chatting to you the other day. You're not scared of butterflies, are you? It's dragonflies you're scared of. Uh, both. Oh, right, okay. I think it was Debbie. Oh, she's right then. I thought it was just butterflies. Uh, dragonflies, rather. Oh, dra dragonflies are terrifying. Yes. So and they're terrifying because they're, they're incredibly beautiful. Yeah. But they're incredibly <laughs> terrifying. Yeah. They're just unpredictable. Yeah. They fly <laughs> they sort of fly around you and they're like, I'm not I'm not gonna attack you, you're fine, you carry on with your walk. Yeah. Ha ha, only kidding. Yeah, Dive ha -ha. Bomb. <laughs> That'll show you. <laughs> oh dear. The butterflies are not not you're not on the same scale of fear with butterflies, no. Um I do do this really weird horse like squeal. Right. If one flies near me. Well, <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I get um, the kids tease me incredibly for making that noise every time one comes near me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my little um, my little doofa that's yep. going to go in there. Okay. So I'm just going to stand that up while I do it, and it's exactly the same as so our pop up box that we do have. Yes. Um, you doing it in exactly the same way. But on this one, we're just popping it in the middle of the card instead of making an actual pop-up box. So I'm just going to make sure that that side sticks down perfectly before I go on to the other side. So I'm going to try that again. What I tend to do is I'll stick one side down and normally you can just fold it over. There we go. Oh, it popped off again. Hey, I tell you why, it's just getting caught on there. Third time lucky. Go on. 
It's the thought of uh, <laughs> butterflies on sticks. <laughs> Such a weird thought that now, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that really made me laugh. I know it did. You'll see what I mean in a minute. If you weren't here at the start of the demo, there will be butterflies on acetate <laughs> sticks. sticks. Coming your way in just a few moments' time. <laughs> I can't. Do you know what? I can't stick it down. It's just not playing with me, for me at all. Let me do it this way. Try to do it that way so you could all see. But um, we'll whilst you're sticking, I say hi to Kirsty D. Kirsty D with the scratch map. I'm about half an hour down the road from you. I know, Kirsty, you're in um, you're in Teesside, aren't you? Right? Is that down the road from us? Is it? I thought Teesside was up the road. I thought it was across. Which way across, west or east? East. Oh. And Pamela Kale, Carl, Pamela says, what about Paradise by the Dashboard Lights? Yes. <laughs> yes. Another meatloaf song there. Went through a phase of just having songs that were incredibly long in their titles, didn't he? Yeah. Mm. Two but out of three ain't bad. Paradise by the Dashboard yeah. Light. I'd do anything for love, but I won't do that. You know what he's talking about? Oh, oh, I'd do anything for love, but I won't do that. <laughs> Don't know. I wonder what he wouldn't do for love. We well, we won't find out, will we? <laughs> I bet it was one of those questions, yeah, that he got like asked in every interview and yeah. gave a different answer every time right we're not going to put that second one on because oh. it, it's um i don't i don't want the second one on. no not that i might have cut it just that little bit too short and it's not working not no it's nothing all. to do that at all what are you talking about <laughs> if you can see i do have the one in there and what you're going to do is it's still going to fold flat for you to post okay just just scar that so you can see i've still got here so this is just a so it's a four by six card. So you're just going to open it up and you've got that lovely pop-up element. So that's why we're going to bring these in. I've my <laughs> butterflies on sticks. So we're just going to pop these in here like um, we would a normal, <laughs> a normal butterfly on a stick. No, on a normal pop-up box. We're just going to put these in sort of where we want them. We just cut that down. So again, I think these are absolutely perfect for this kind of thing. Yeah. And again, because you've got the different sizes in there, all the butterflies, there's so many in there and they're all different sized. Um, all the flowers are different sized. You've got lots of different sized bows in there. So you've got a lot of scope to um, play with these. So let's pop that in there. Just bring in another butterfly. And again, so all the butterflies have all got different uh, patterns on there. They're all really, really lovely. This would play very nicely, of course, with your Timeless Butterflies collection. Yes. It's proved popular, didn't it? So you could... You yeah, definitely. You could add more of those uh, butterflies, of course, onto your sticks <laughs> and have a whole <laughs> kaleidoscope of butterflies popping up out of the box. No. No? <laughs> as long as they're on sticks, they're fine. <laughs> so I'm just going to decorate the front of my little box. This one is just it's like a little corner flower. Um, I'm just going to pop that on. I'm not going to put it on foam pads because it's going to go on the inside of my box. And if I do, it's not going to close. So let's just pop that down there. So obviously, if you're at home, you're going to put lots more in that pop-up um, box on there. Pop that on there. And then if I just close... Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Let's pop that up here. So I'm going to pop that on there. Actually, a little bow there would look lovely. And again, so this is where you're just going to have a bit of a play um, and have a bit of fun. Let's pop that on there. So if I bring... The only thing you're going to have to be careful is, of is the way that you angle these. So I've angled mine just a little bit too far out, so it's not going to quite work. So 
So if I pop that, oh, that's even worse. How did that even work? Let's peel it off all together. We'll try again. So the only, yeah, so the only thing you are going to do when you're doing this is you're going to be careful that you don't angle them out. So when you want to close it, that's going to go over there. So let's just peel that off again. Angle it in a little bit more. Nice. And the thing is, do you know what? If obviously, if you're making a bigger one, this is obviously just um, four inches wide. If you make a bigger one, you're going to be able to display those a lot wider. Yeah. And a lot further. But let me pop this. So really, all I've done with this is, again, just using the card and paper pads and lots of those beautiful pop-out elements from that die topper um, card pad. Amelia Sirocco says, that is brilliant, Michelle. I love the side pop-up. Thank you. Very fun card. I have to, I've gone a little bit small, which is unusual for me because I normally go really big, don't I? Mm. So if I just so stand that up, it's going to stand lovely just like that. But then when you open it up, Yay. you've got that beautiful pop-out element. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's such a lovely, like... It's like a fresh collection, this, isn't yes, it? Yes. Almost really. like a crafty sorbet. Yes. I'm going to keep that one. <laughs> uh, but it's a lovely, lovely project, and a lot of you appreciating that as well. Love this card, Michelle, says Debbie. Um... <laughs> what, who, who, me? Oh, no, no, sorry. I was just, I was just, did you run out of batteries, James just said? I was just, um, <laughs> I was just reading a comment. I think this is from, it must be from Susie next year for Michelle's birthday. Oh, sorry, no, it says shh. Oh, sorry. Oh, shush. <laughs> She's yeah. going to send me what, some butterfly kebabs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, shh. Susie, I like the idea. Share it with everybody else in the socials and see what they think. <laughs> Um, Kirsty Lee says, you guess, Ben, I live in Teesside. It's more or less southeast, or as we say here, you go down the A66, lol. I must play cricket in Teesside then, because I play cricket near Teesside Airport, I think, in a little village called Middleton St. George. So that must be, is that Teesside, Kirsty? You have to let me know. Is that, oh, Jamie says he thinks it is. He, oh, he goes through that way to get home. <laughs> and um, Kathy Green says, my town, Mechanicsburg, this is like the place of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of dropping a ball at midnight, oh yeah, because you drop the ball, don't you, New Year, like New York does, we have a wrench drop. Brilliant. <laughs> so they drop the ball in New York, drop the wrench in Mechanicsburg. I love that. That is the place of the night, honestly. Uh, that, that, I mean, not that we've ever done this feature before, but um, brand new feature, place of the night is Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. <laughs> does it have something to do with mechanics? Is that what you just said, Charlotte? Yeah, because they do a wrench drop, because me mechanics have a wrench. Are they doing it to be called, it's because it's called Mechanicsburg? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Probably. Because it's just... Mechanicsburg was named after a settlement of mechanics, Charlotte's just found out. <laughs> anyway, moving on, kindly thoughts. Uh, this... Yeah, uh, <laughs> sorry, this is the right collection. Um, if you want to be able to recreate the card that you've just seen, this is your topper pad, 24 sheets of huge, huge um, toppers, of bows, of florals, of corners, of butterflies, on sticks, of all sorts, <laughs> borders, <laughs> and everything you want, even little buttons in there, and they're not naked. Um, you're getting all of those included in this set. Alongside that, you are also going to receive bows and buttons and brads. There's 126 elements in that collection, and you're going to get um, vellum, and you're going to get cardstock, pearlescent cardstock, no less, 24 sheets of, and you're going to get a beautiful selection of stamps in there, the heartfelt sentiments, and you're going to get a 3D embossing folder, which is that gorgeous floral with all the vines and the uh, foliage in the background, and you're going to get a beautiful, elegant lace die, plus you're going to get the beautiful lace um, die as well. So all of that included should be £80, $100, $39.20 today, or $49.60 if you're a Platinum member. That is proving very, very popular indeed. 
also proving popular. Oh, hello, Sydney. Um, <laughs> Sydney Spiders Grinder, I keep forgetting. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got all sorts behind here tonight. Um, the Angel Collection. So the Angel Collection we had featured during the Craft Along. If you missed that earlier on, by the way, get back and watch it because you missed an absolute treat. I'm telling you, the, the, the project that you're going to see, got well, it was obviously the demo of the show because it was a craft along, but I'm, I actually haven't said that. The box you made is great. I'm still going to stick my neck out and say it's going to be demo of the day, <laughs> demo of the week, demo of the month. Um, so if you're buying the Angel Collection, make sure you go back and watch that show. If you are buying the Angel Collection, you'll be one of the final, how many, Jamie? Final 35 people to get your hands on this set because uh, it is about to disappear. We've had so many of you shop for it today. What I can tell you is you're going to get everything that you're seeing right here. Alongside that, this is your linen card stock, by the way, uh, 24 sheets of. Alongside that, you are going to get your downloadable 8x8 paper pad. The 12x12 pad, which originally came with this collection, has sold out. So we've popped in the 8x8 alongside the linen card stock and all of the beautiful vellum in there too. So that is all included. Then on top of that, you get absolutely tons and tons of craftability. So heavenly blessings, that beautiful die set there. It's very stained glass windowy to me, this. It's perfect for that, definitely. Yeah, it can create a really, really lovely, lovely effect. And again, if you love your paper piecing, um, you know, just super for doing that. This is the heaven scent. Again, Michelle did, the e demo with this on was that wake, wake up, up call yeah oh it must have been because you did the crash along yeah because um, i used the vellum and yeah. the colored behind it to yeah. give you that faux paper piece you know that faux um stained glass window effect very very clever um then again a lot of these elements you'll see in the um in the craft along uh that michelle did so the feathers appear you used didn't you to decorate the front I of did, your album yeah. then this one here is called the um eternal love again you used this, did you use this on the back or on one I of the did, pages? I did, yeah. I used that one to create a pocket bit. That's right. Then you've got the uh, Believe in Angels. Again, a fantastic demo on this a little bit earlier on. That's my favourite die in the set. I love that one. It's just so, I mean, it's amazing, isn't it? What our guys do to design these. Um, I, uh, yeah, the attention to the detail and yeah. everything in there is just incredible. It really is. That's included. You're also going to get that beautiful angel die. Uh, again, that was used during the craft along. You get a selection of stamp sentiments to be able to create your own bespoke sentiment. More sentiments here with the angel blessings uh, stamp set. And then you'll get stamp and die sets as well. So you've got the angel prayer, which is the praying angel with the harp. You also get a little sentiment with that as well, which says there is joy in the presence of angels. You're in my thoughts is the sentiment that you get with the ethereal angel. Again, that beautiful angel with the stunning wings and the peace dove and the feather. You get all the dice to be able to cut out your coloured images. And then the most beautiful 3D embossing folder, which is called Angel Wings. You've got that kind of ancient script in the background. And then the beautiful angel wings, which come to the fore, which really kind of showcases just what 3D embossing folders are all about. Everything that I've just shown you there, plus the consumables, plus the downloadable element, is £70.40 if you're platinum. 88.80 if you are a platinum member and you're shopping in the US. We have 35 of those left. That's not including the amount of people who have those um, in baskets as well. So it's probably less than that. And I'm kind of thinking it will be less than that when we come back from a short break, which we're about to have. We're going to come back with more of the Nitwick collections. And of course, in the last sort of 50 minutes or so, your votes hopefully will be coming in for your demo of the show. And indeed, demo of the day. It's all in the way, but head to the checkouts, get those baskets checked out, and we'll come back with you in just a few moments' time. <laughs> Many of our viewers bring it up time and time again, and that's our wax seal seal gate. Thinking though, it might not work as well because I've put too much. <laughs> too much. <laughs> Joe's, Joe's laughing. <laughs> oh, I've forgotten to put me um me thing in place. <laughs> oh, Joe, don't... words, but I think that doesn't engage with that and can come out all wrong. Water. That, that wasn't the one you just washed your brush in, was it? Sorry, yes, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? It was. Are you kidding? I'm going to have to say, this is a slip of the tongue. 
I'm going to say it's maybe to do with my Scottish accent. I'm maybe going to say it's because of Mr. Uh, ben Mosby. He is, well, yeah, he doesn't help matters. Five on a row, five on a row, five on a row, five on a row, five on a row. Um, I've made pots that exploded when I fired them. I've done zips in inside out. It happens to everybody. We've all spilt our glitter all over our project or knocked the water over. Right. I've just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was messing about doing some backgrounds with the sparkling, took the lid off it and managed to catch the pot somehow and the whole thing came towards me, down my front, across my lap, onto the floor. I went to reach for the water and you know do the, the, the tapping with the, the, and so there was less tapping and more sort of a tsunami. Um, <laughs> I've got some... <gasps> Oh, it's not on your project, is it? Yeah. Oh, no. Time to get red carpet ready. Our sensational 17th birthday is nearly here, and we're bringing the razzle dazzle to celebrate in serious style. Join us from the 17th to the 30th of October for the most sensational soiree of the season. Boy, do we have some treats in store for you. We have got a star studded lineup of launches and so many crafty treats and surprises. So head on over to the Crafters Companion website to find out more. Welcome back. We're very excited about birthday coming this Monday. There's so much to show you. Can't wait to unveil everything that we've got to unveil and, and everything that we've got to reveal. It's going to be amazing. If you're as excited as we are, do make sure that you download the birthday booklet. It's there now on our website. If you go to craftscompanion.com.co.uk or .eu, click on the booklet. You can um, peruse it. You can see all of the launches which are coming up. You can find out more about why it's going to be the biggest birthday ever. And of course, you can check the show times so you can kind of pop in your diary the big launches, the shows that you're most looking forward to. It's brilliant. The booklet is jam packed full of everything that you need. So make sure you do download it. Let's get back to some demonstrations though. The Home Body Collection uh, 19 dies, your paper, your phone, your toppers, your cards your embellishments as well it's a half price deal this evening uh, plus you're obviously still getting your club inspired discount too so if you're platinum it's 38 pounds 40 48 dollars if you're shopping in the us and you're platinum but let's get back on over to michelle who is absolutely smashing the demos out today and it looks like you've got some what have you got over there not butterflies and sticks oh how disappointing <laughs> So I have, I'm going to, we're going to use, again, we've got some of those beautiful pop-out elements. I mean, if you're going to be getting this kit, you are going to be using these. Uh, and I love this one. So I've got, I've got Home Sweet Home. I just love that. I think it's just adorable. And you've got that beautiful house. So you do get the die that um, you can make this house with. And it's obviously a lot bigger than that. Yeah. But these are just from the pop-out um, topper pad. I've just die cut out, so this is the flower. So this is a pretty peony. I've just, I've taken some of those florals and I've die cut those out. And again, using the beautiful paper pad um, from this collection. But, so I'm pretty sure we've still got it in stock. I'm pretty sure it's on the website. This card I'm using is from the Bloom, is it Bloom with Grace? Bloom with Grace, yeah. Yeah, it's that one. I love it. I love um, I, I love a pearlescent card, don't get me wrong, but I love this. The matte of this card in this kit um, and the colours is just absolutely beautiful. So I've used this to make this base card with. So the size of this is 12 by 8 and I've scored it at 4, then 7.5 here. And then I've scored it at 8 there. And then I've gone over there and I've scored that last 11.5 um, to give me that tab. I've just used one of our circle nesting dies to create that lovely aperture there. And then using those same uh, nesting dies, I've just used the one up with the, the one that I've created the aperture with. And we've got that beautiful um, um, board around. So I am just, it's here, just looking for my glue. So we're just going to pop this on first. So again, a nice, easy uh, card to make. Um, it 
it looks really effective though because what you're doing is we're making a focal point of all those pop out elements yeah. that come with that um, topper pad. Let's just hold that down. There we go. Just, I almost feel like I've missed a bit of um, gluing a bit there, but. Missed a bit of what? I feel, it, just that bit, little bit there just didn't want to stick down for me at all, but it has now. Oh, uh, okay. So it wasn't doing as it was told, but it has now. So what we've got is, um, so if I stand it up for you, you've got a card that will still again fold flat. But when you open it to stand it up, you've got again um, sort of um, a bit of a pop-up element, but with the actual card this time rather than the elements in it. So what I've got here, I've got this beautiful, oh, I love that paper. So that's what I was on about earlier, about how it's quite busy, but it's not it's busy in a good way. Yeah. You get some papers that are so busy, you just you don't know what you're looking at, but these are busy and just beautiful. Busy and beautiful. Busy and beautiful. Mm. So we're gonna pop this one behind here. So again, just another nice, simple card. Do you know what, these, this side is perfect for a man's card. I mean, you've got such a florally paper pad, but you turn it over and you've got that um, lovely pattern there that is perfect for some of the men in your life. Not my men. My men like flowers and florals. I guess what I was thinking as well, Jamie, actually. Some <laughs> of the men in well, your life. Well, do you know what? I'm saying men, but, you know, some of the women. I mean, my daughter's definitely not into the flowers and florals and patterns. No. But yet, my son is. So, Oliver would definitely have the florally bit and she would definitely have the... Pattern is it bit. like a plaid, isn't it? Yeah. On the back. So, again, I've just got a strip of that um, pattern paper and I've just put a strip. So, earlier when I did the uh, craft along and I used a strip uh, just of normal card to create a pocket. I'm not using this to create a pocket. Um, I just like how it looks. I think it just looks pretty. Mm. Um, but to be fair, you could. You would do don't necessarily need to glue all of that down and you would have... There we go. You would have um, a pocket element on that if you wanted to. So absolutely, uh, actually, you could do that. I'm not going to, <laughs> but you absolutely could. I think it's just about looking at everything in a, in a different way or with someone else's eyes. Yeah. Which sounds a little bit morbid with someone else's eye. Don't use my eyes because you'll not be able to see a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use mine either, because I'm definitely <laughs> uh, with you on that. Protect my lenses out. So I'm just going to turn that over. That is my front piece, and I'm just going to... We're just going to put that lovely strip down the front. I must say hi to Amy Muscaplatt, who's joined us, saying, I love the versatility of these collections. So much to mix and match and make. Good to tune in even late. It's always good to tune in, even Absolutely. if you're late. And Susan says, hi, Ben, Michelle and team and everyone. I'm glad to tune in in time to vote for Michelle's demos. Yeah, it won't be long till we do that. Or you're going to have a job today. You are going to have a job today <laughs> to vote for your favourite. Um, there are, there's not crackers. She hasn't made any crackers at all. What are you talking about, Jamie? <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. You, oh, I see what you mean now. I'm sure you don't have any crackers. There's a box and a beautiful album and whatever you vote for from this show. I've had a lot of fun today, I must admit. Well, you know. <laughs> we always have, I think we're a, good, we're a good team, aren't we? I think we are, yeah. You know, we have a bit of a laugh, don't we? Yeah, definitely. We have a laugh, we get the job done. You know. <laughs> get in, get out, says Jamie. <laughs> you know. But no, I think, I think hopefully, you, you know, we have the right mix of fun and inspiration. I, I think so. I do kind of wish that I'd crafted along with you a little bit earlier, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of glad that I didn't because I do think I would have held up the whole process quite a lot on that, um, that gorgeous album that you made. But the thing is, just by you saying, I wish I'd have crafted along, yes. actually goes to show that how easier it is to actually do than it looks. Oh, yeah, absolutely right. I, would have got, I definitely would have been able to do it, but yeah. just at the, a slower pace, potentially. Um, oh, yeah, you'd definitely have been able to do that. Yeah. And then your card would have won 
uh, card of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, so of course, I've already been, ha been voted as card of the year. Thank you, Terry. Um, I think you're watching. But no, uh, if you haven't seen uh, Michelle's make from the Craft Along, and indeed a box from earlier on, you'll get to vote on those in a bit. They're, they're brilliant, honestly. Two of the best makes of the month. So I'm just going to hold that for a second because I've used my Kalal glue. So I'm just going to wait for that to grab and go off. Um, the only thing is, when you are doing these kind of pop-up elements, um, you do have to wait a little bit longer for your glue to um, dry because yeah. as soon as you open it up, it just wants to peel back off. Okay. So you just need to just wait that little bit longer. And as we know, I've got no patience. Um, but you have got more patience than me, so just wait that little bit longer so when you open it, it doesn't peel back off. Okay. And then you can do all those little manipulations to make sure that it folds flat both ways, which it has. So now, there you go, look at that. Perfect. So what I should have probably done before I glued it, which doesn't really matter, is I was just going to pop my house in the middle. So I'm going to do that now. And I'm just going to raise it. Uh, these foam pads that I'm using are really thin. They're like literally a two mil depth. Yeah. So even though I still want this to close flat, which it will, that two mil depth on there um, is not really going to hinder that at all. So let me just get these. Mary just said she loves the style of this card. And would it be fair to say, this is what Susan says, I think that Michelle has a technical brain that works in 3D. Her projects are amazing. Aww. Would you say you have a technical brain that works in 3D? Um, I wish people could see inside my head and inside my brain. Mum, I, I said it earlier and I joked about it, saying I always do things cack handed And I do. The way that I do things and work, I think it makes sense, no sense to most <laughs> people, but to me, Makes perfect sense. So do you have to like work it out in your own cat handed way and then when you do a craft along have to rewrite it for someone who's not cat handed? Yes. Yeah. Mm. So when yeah, who's not cat handed yeah. When I'm at home, I have these scribbles everywhere, these random things that you would look at and you'd think, What on earth is that? But to me that's a box. Yeah. I know exactly what I'm looking at. And I think maybe a, a lot of us are like that. Mm. Um we all just work it all out in our own way, I suppose, don't we? Yeah, whatever works for you, isn't it, well, really? Well, that's it. There's that phrase again, you do you. <laughs> yes, but definitely cack handed <laughs> That's why I say about, um, I've got all my books at home with all different drawings in of all the different cards that I yeah. do and stuff. You would make neither head nor tail of it, you really wouldn't. But to me, all makes perfect sense. You know, if Mechanicsburg is the place of the day today, cack-handed is the word of the day. <laughs> um, hi, Maureen Hagger. says, hi, Ben, Michelle and team. I'm late to the live. I've been watching the craft along accidentally, uh, which is fabulous. I'm loving this card. <laughs> How did you watch it accidentally? Did it just sort of like, just, like pop up? Um, no, yeah. I've done that. Sometimes I've gone to our page to watch the live. Yeah. Um, and just clicked on the wrong one. Oh, and a random yeah. thing comes up. Yeah, definitely. Um, and Amelia just says, Michelle, I was on the fence about buying these two collections, but your cards made the items pop into my basket. Oh, I'm glad. You'll have fun with them. You will. And all these amazing projects, of course, to copy. Yes, absolutely. And we're going to have a look, actually. I think we've got... Have we got Stephen's picture to show in the next lot of pictures we're going to do? Brilliant. We've got a gallery coming up in a minute, which is cards, puppies... Uh, Halloween costumes. I mean, it's, well, the gallery of champions coming up. Looking <laughs> forward to that. So, on the front, I'm going to pop my home. Sweet. Sweet. Home. <laughs> there we go. Abby. And then we will pop one more flower just underneath there. Ouch. I always stick my finger in that hot glue. Always, every time. 
and then ouch <laughs> I may or may not have done it again <laughs> and then a lovely little button just in the middle that's brilliant I just peel that glue off my finger <laughs> let me oh my sleeves are definitely getting in my way now so <laughs> if I turn that round and stand that out for you you've got a lovely um card and then when you open it you've got that lovely pop-up element there that is lovely what would you call it like a it reminds me of like a porthole yeah. Oh, yeah, like on a ship. Like on a ship. Yeah. <laughs> a porthole card, we'll call it. Yes. Mm. Oh, I like that. Yeah. It's brilliant. Lots of love coming in for it as well. Um, thank you for all the positive comments coming through. It's so nice that you guys are enjoying the show and enjoying all of Michelle's demos. I'll just quickly show you this collection, then we'll ha we're going to have a look at that gallery because um, I believe you guys have been sending in lots of pics. The Homebody collection is the most popular of the two that we've got on the show. I absolutely love it. The, the colour palette that you've got is amazing. The designs that you've got in here as well, amazing. Basically, if you love uh, that warm, sort of homely, sort of cosy feeling with bright, beautiful florals and the kind of ditzy designs in here, you're going to absolutely go wild for this collection. Just worth reiterating that if you've already got the full collection, then you can go individually in a separate bundle for the consumables. So we have a Put those together for you if you don't want to get repeats of the dies for example i mean you, you may well want to at this sort of price you might go do you know what i'm going to buy the whole lot and i'm going to you know have extras of the dies to work quicker or maybe you want to give those away it's entirely up to you um paper pad foam you've got pearlescent card in here too so 24 sheets of your card 16 sheets of your foam and then you've got the amazing die cut topper pad as well and once again here 24 sheets of pop out goodness for you there's so much in here florals frames you've got buttons and keys and exclamation marks and letters and numbers and oh there's so much in here and again pretty much a little pop out element for cards of all different shapes and sizes whether you want focal points whether you want little stoppers embellishments decoupage elements frames whether you want to make pop-up cards like you saw on wake up call this morning you've got everything that you need within that collection so that's all the consumables alongside of course don't forget all of your buttons and bows and lace that you're going to receive in this set then on top of that you've got your uh, pretty peony so again those are going to allow you to be able to cut out all of the different florals and the leaves within that set use it with your uh flower forming foam but of course use it with your papers your vellum your tissues whatever else you want to use with that set then you've got your house that one is called the uh, elegant abood and then you've also got the uh, beautiful floral arch in there as well uh, and as i said to you all i can think of at the minute because particularly because that's cut out in black halloween cards yeah. it is isn't it ha it can be your haunted house or it can be your really beautiful uh, home body spring summertime card as well with all the beautiful bright florals on it as well it is a 50 percent saving don't forget 38 40 or 48 dollars uh, if you're platinum do not miss out are we going for a break now we're looking at the pictures ah oh, who's this terry is that your Oh looking back God. on the emails as to who oh, she's got her own little mini sofa <laughs> how cute is that it's the, that's ursula from oh, the little mermaid is. isn't it the costume oh days oh she's adorable oh terry you have to let us know who that is but whoever it is super super cute and i love her costume and her little sofa which has got it looks like it's got uh is that cinderella wolf frozen on it but anyway that is super cute love so the costume cute. amazing <laughs> that's so cute next up now i've heard of dogs drinking out the toilet bowl <laughs> uh, but this is ralph who is rosalind's dog oh he's worked out how, <laughs> he's worked out how to have a shave that is brilliant is he a boxer i think he's a boxer isn't he it looks like it yeah yeah that is oh. super cute i'm talking to cute come <gasps> on look at it has gypsy oh gypsy's got a little like a little heart oh oh on the on her eye oh it's <laughs> so cute bonita gypsy is literally the cutest jamie wants to know where's the other hundred <laughs> oh my goodness we should do more puppy galleries yes. every day yes shouldn't we and then i'll let you um comment on this one because this was stephen's craft along he put it on facebook how good is this, Michelle? That, that you is did just earlier? amazing. 
so so lovely it really is I be, love it. He's done an amazing job on that. It must be so nice for you to see people actually doing what you've shown them to do yes. and then seeing, like, you know, finished projects like that. Yeah, oh, definitely. I mean, I used to do it with, I mean, before I worked here, so I used to craft along and things like that, but I never had, um, I, I don't know, I was never brave enough to share mine, but um, that's amazing. Well done, Stephen. Always appreciate your rare uh, pictures that you sent through. And Georgia Catherstrand, <gasps> oh. absolutely brilliant. Look at uh, look at all those. I love those. I'm just coming closer for a bit of a closer look. Oh, <laughs> fantastic! Absolutely beautiful. It's a it's a lovely palette, isn't it? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep yeah. that. It's like a, a crafty sorbet. Uh, is that kindly thoughts collection thank you so much everyone who sent in pictures um, do feel free to keep sending in pictures over the course of the weekend because i'm enjoying these galleries and i think we should absolutely show more of them um over the course of the weekend right we are going to have a quick little break when we come back we will squeeze in another demo we will also answer any more of your questions and read out any more of your comments and we'll get you to vote for your demo of the show and the all important vote for the demo of the day as well that is all on the way right now head to the checkouts and whilst you're doing that let's find out more about Lily. Hi everyone, I'm Lily. I've been part of Crafters Companion for about a year now. Can't believe it's been that long. It's absolutely flown by. How did my crafting journey start? Well, I have to say I've always been creative. I've always, I've always loved drawing, painting, making cards. I sort of started that when I was very, very young, making all my handmade uh, Christmas cards, birthday cards, thank you cards. And from then on in, it pretty much just stuck. So where am I from? So I currently live about two miles actually from head office here uh, in County Durham um, but I'm actually from Sheffield something that's really sort of close to my heart from where I'm from is the fact that we've got the Peak District just on our doorstep. Crafty inspirations that's a that's an interesting one I have to say I'm inspired by so many different things I'm inspired just by the team we have here at Crafters Companion the craft experts are so so inspiring I learned so much um, from watching them from sharing our ideas together and I've actually watched the team on telly for so so many years even before I before I first come here and I remember the first time I sort of stepped through the doors um, here at the CTV studios I was completely completely starstruck and as well our community that we have our crafters companion family that wider family that we interact online uh, you guys emailing into the show leaving all the comments leaving pictures of your creations I find so inspiring as well it's a community where we all feed off of each other a lovely big welcoming community so I'm inspired by all you guys at home as well which I think is absolutely lovely what do I do apart from crafting well I absolutely love running I love being out in the open spaces come rain or shine or snow or hail or whatever the weather the throws us. So what does make Crafters TV so special? Well, I want to have to go with a very corny, very cheesy answer, but it is true. It's the you guys at home, it's the viewers. If it wasn't for you guys watching your amazing interaction, all your lovely comments, your feedback, your mates that you send through, Crafters TV would not be the same. We wouldn't be here without you guys at the end of the day. Oh, big crafting fails or accidents on screen. Mm, that's an interesting one. I don't think I've had anything too disastrous. I'll be back on next week and I'll have a crafting disaster you watch now. to get red carpet ready. Our sensational 17th birthday is nearly here and we're bringing the Razzle Dazzle to celebrate in serious style. Join us from the 17th to the 30th of October for the most sensational soiree of the season. Boy, do we have some treats in store for you. We have got a star-studded lineup of launches and so many crafty treats and surprises. So head on over to the Crafters Companion website to find out more. coming it's coming uh what are we about 48 no not more than 48 hours away 48 can't work it out 24 48 around 12 about 60 hours isn't it 60 hours away no a little bit more than that it starts at 11 o'clock 60 60 i wish i had started now 60 61 62 60 64 hours away i think <laughs> don't put in the comments oh i think you'll find it 65 <laughs> In my mind. 
Um, adorable photo, says Susan, just before the break, and a fantastic project from Stephen. Agreed. Uh, love the card, Michelle. Um, I like the focus on the little home, says Susan. A porthole card. Very good. Um, so beautiful. Love the colour combination, Mary says, and Mary Pat saying, super cute card, Michelle. And Miriam Robinson says, I love this card, Michelle. I have to get my choppers out from this collection. I'll tell you what, let's move to the other collection that we've got. I'll show you it after we've done the demo, because I think you probably have, have seen it a few times already on the show. But basically, the Kindly Thoughts collection is the other set that we've got. Die stamp card it's all in there should be 80 pounds 103 dollars that's the platinum price for you today so everyone saves that 40 percent that's another 20 if you're platinum um, but let's get this final demo in then i'll go through the goodies for you and we'll get all the votes going We've got lots of squeeze in in the last 24 minutes so what are we going to do um we're going to use this time we're going to use the elegant lace die and i've just i've just been taping it on the top of my uh, look at that piece of mm. paper it is just stunning so that obviously is one of the 12 by 12s and it's just cut down and it just makes an amazing focal point on that on that well what's going to be my card it is just beautiful it really is so the one i'm using is the elegant lace so we're just going to pop this through um and again, so I've brought in some more of, of the toppers because, you know, you've got that huge topper pad. You, you know, you're going to be using them and using yeah. them and you're, for a long time because, I mean, Ben said there's over 900 in there. So yeah, you've know. just, you've got so, so many in there. So let me just peel that back gently. There we go just get rid of that so it's just left a bit of tacky just going to rub that away and then let me just bring in my pokey tool get rid of those last few bits there we go and again so turning it over yeah. you've got a, um, a, a pattern on there that is not necessarily um, sort of chintzy and flowery and um, you know it's definitely if you've got someone who doesn't like the floral you've got all, all those options there definitely so oh, that blue from that paper pad is just oh god I love navy blue cardstock it's definitely one of my favorites it's just so, so bold mm. so it's a lovely collection again um, you've got some great prices on these uh, these knitwit sets and I know both have been very popular over the course of the last show. Some big discounts, 40%, 50%. Grab them whilst you can. So I'm just going to layer that on there. And then, oh, I just pop that back down. There we go. So that is just, it's just, I love, um, it's a lovely, delicate, edgeable. It's really intricate, but it's not, it's not overly floral. It's not, um, in your, I don't want to say in your face because that just sounds awful. Um, <laughs> in your face. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah, it's um, it's just a beautiful sort of edgeable that could go on any card. Yeah. We have some that are, you know, definitely more floral that fit a particular card, but this is a a brilliant. It's an all rounder. Absolutely right. For want is. of a better. Yeah. <laughs> For want of a nicer phrase. A great all-rounder. <laughs> so I'm sticking it onto my card base, which is obviously huge. But um, so each piece of card is 12 inches wide and I've scored at six and three. And then there's another piece of card there that is, I've scored at six and three. And I've just glued them together in the middle to make this uh, huge double gatefold card. And then I've got these. If I can pick it up. I've got these already matte and layered. Again, that beautiful oh, yeah. navy. Um, again, not with the same pattern. I mean, you could do the same pattern um, and have it going out, sort of following on. But um, I love that. I love that yellow rose on there. So I had, just had to use it. Just for no other reason than it is gorgeous. So just popping that on there. Beautiful. We are, and by the way, in case you didn't know, Michelle and I are back tomorrow, kicking off your Super Saturday. We are. 
So looking forward to tomorrow because we've got um, another masterclass, which is nesting dies, isn't it, tomorrow? It is, at yeah. At 2, 9 o'clock Eastern. And tomorrow evening we're in the craft house. Violet Studios. Yeah. I think potentially my first Violet Studio show. Oh, really? Well, a dedicated show. Yeah. I've had some Violet Studio goodies um, on previous shows, but yeah, we've got a whole show dedicated to Violet Studios, haven't we? We have. They have some brilliant kits as well, don't they? Like yeah, so I think we've got the... I always want to call it Rainbow Blooms. Is it Rainbow Blooms? Rainbow oh, Blooms. Mm. I've got it right. No. <laughs> There's a shocker. I'm so surprised. <laughs> I love that one. I love... Mm. It's just, it's bright and happy and cheery. I've just noticed as well, my shirt matches your card. It does? Mm. Oh. Maybe you can stick me on it <laughs> in the centre. I'll put you on a stick. <laughs> ben on the stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jamie, Jamie just said, where are you going to put the stick? <laughs> Outrageous. Um, and also tomorrow, play your crafts right, kicking off the day. Um, it's a, a, a game where we'll show you two items and you have to try and work out which was launched earliest. I'm looking forward to that, testing our crafty knowledge. Both Michelle and I are very excited about the fact that we've got a good chance of getting at least a few right. Yeah, I'm hoping it's some obvious, like the Gemini and, you know, the, the butterflies that we've released last I, week. It's not, is it? It's not. <laughs> we, we, did, we did one last week which was uh nature's so we did sarah signature collections two weeks ago and then last week it was nature's garden collections uh, you have to say which collection it was from and i was up against debbie of course who's been here forever I, I think i did all right i think i lost it was like seven six i think in it or seven five but there were some collections on there i've never heard of oh yeah i thought i was at a bit of a disadvantage going up against debbie on that seeing as she's been here forever you know, forever um, but i think we'll be at a level, play, a level playing field tomorrow won't we Yes, we I can think guess we will. Away together. <laughs> Definitely. We want something like that—a little bit of a fifty-fifty quiz on a Saturday. You don't want yeah. to be too hard on a Saturday morning. No, well, uh, Jamie was just saying though, Nicola's done it, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be hard. Um, well, at least, as I say, we've got a fifty-fifty chance. Um, Michelle says, not you, other Michelle says, <laughs> um, what are the dimensions of the panels? On here. Yeah. So. I'm, I'm gathering that she's going to be meaning the side panels. So mm. obviously this is six by six. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's six by eight. Right. Um, so I go down a quarter of an inch each time. So for these, um, this is three by eight. So my blue is going to be um, two and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And then the pattern is going to be um, seven and a half by three and a half. Okay. Um, and to get those side pieces, all I do is bear with me and I'll show you. So this is probably not the, oh, it is the right size. So I, I'm going to cut my piece of card. So pretend this is blue. I'm going to cut it a quarter of an inch um, down like I just, like I do with this one. So I'm going to cut it to two and three quarters. I'm going to um, cut it a quarter of an inch shorter as well. So it's going to be exactly the same size as that blue one. Obviously it's not going to fit. So what I will do is, I will, let me let me do it better for you so you can see properly. So that is roughly. Oh, wait, look at that. Oh. <laughs> I mean. I couldn't have done that again if I tried. Bob on. Bob on. Ding. Bob on. So what I'm going to do is to get this side, I'm going to put that on there and I'm going to place it exactly where I want it to be. And what I will do is either with a pencil or, you know, my um, pokey tool, just to make a notch on it, I will notch there where that line is and I will put a little line there. And then normally I do it with my uh, guillotine. Yeah. I will cut this down. And then when I lay that back over, you can see what it actually does is it comes right to the edge. So then again on my guillotine, I will just cut another sliver, a quarter of an inch, and then when I put it back on there, it's gonna fit perfectly. And then I'll do the same with the pattern paper. So that's how I get it to, to fit perfectly on those sides. Perfect. I know I went off on a little bit of a tangent then and you only asked me sort of the sizes of them, but I thought while I'm here, 
I'll show you how I do that as well. That's the easiest way that I've found to do that, definitely. So I'm just putting some of my butterflies on here. I've got this huge, big um, sort of thank you rose. Is it a rosette? Yeah. Sort like of a, there. Yeah, it is a rosette. Yeah, that's from the pop out. And then one of the bows, I've just put it on a little bit of foam and I've popped it on there. And then again, just some more of those lovely butterflies. We're just going to pop up here. And again, because they come in different sizes, it looks lovely when you cascade them up going down in those different sizes. So I'm just, all I'm doing is I'm just shaping those wings. I'm just bending them out a little just to give them a bit of that dimension on my card. And then, so that is my card. So what I would do as well, which I haven't done, is I would mat and layer onto there as well. Yeah. Um, just to get rid of that whiteness. But if I turn that round, you can make a really nice big double gatefold card with Beautiful. all those elements. I tell you what, shall we get the vote for the demo of the show going? And then once you've got that vote going, I'll take you through the Kindly Thoughts collection. Then hopefully we'll have the vote for that and then we can do the demo of the day and I can chat about something else. And then <laughs> we'll get the result of that and then we'll be done, won't we? Yeah, we, we, you know, we all go home. I'm starving. Did anyone, I hope nobody heard my stomach rumble during that last <laughs> demo. I, I wish I had something look, to look forward to tonight for dinner, but I've got leftover fish pie that I made. Oh. But so it sounds a bit better than what you're having, though, because you haven't got a main in your dinner, have you? Well, no, but it sort of is my main, so mm. I'm going to have some cauliflower cheese mm. and I'm going to dip some garlic bread in it. It sounds nice. It's nice. It does sound nice. Would I rather have that or would I rather have leftover <laughs> fish pie? Probably cauliflower <laughs> cheese and garlic bread, actually. I might come, ra I might come around the house tonight and not go home. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll share. <laughs> um, shall we have a look at your cards and yes. get people voting for their favourite? Yes. So, number one is that lovely little um, home gift with the box on the front, um, sort of with a little stand. So, that's number one. Um, number two is the um, pop out box on that fold away card. There we go. Number two. Number three is again a little bit of a pop out element, but these these kits just perfectly lend themselves to it. So that's number three, and then number four is the one that I've just done that um, large double gatefold. One, two, three, four. Get voting. I reckon you've got about three minutes to get your vote in. Ah, oh, three or four minutes, um, and we'll find out what is your uh, favourite of the show. And then of course we we'll get the demo of the day vote going as well. Uh, lots of love for that coming through. Oh, I got a, a little uh, ding notification from Susie. You must have uh, bobbed and I missed it. Oh. <laughs> She's brilliant. She'll put like a little ding. I love it. I, yeah. Um, Susan says, uh, Michelle's technical brain is at work. Uh, and Mary Pat <laughs> says, thank you for that tip, Michelle. Let's just quickly show you the Kindly Thoughts collection that you can pick up all of these goodies you will get. Um, if you're picking up this set tonight, it's a 40% saving, don't forget. And if you're platinum, you come down even further to £39.20, $49.60. Wherever you are within Club Inspire, you'll get this price, of course, less your discount. This is the topper pad that you're going to get. So you die cut topper pad, 24 single-sided sheets in here, but you can see that each and every sheet that you've got is jam-packed full of uh, toppers that literally are going to pop out of your cardstock for you. And you've actually got, there's three sheets of each of the different designs that you've got in here. Um, but from little rosettes, little bows, little pennants, to full-on kind of toppers for focal points for your cards, to, again, uh, little frames and bows and corners in there. I really like these. These are really, really super cute. Decoupage elements if you want. You've got beautiful butterflies in there too, which of course you can layer up. You've got um, strips, you've got borders. Um, I mean, there's so much, even again, little sort of decorative elements as far as like buttons and smaller um, butterflies are concerned. That's 24 sheets, 250 GSM. Also in the collection, you are gonna receive 24 sheets of your vellum as well. All matches up absolutely perfectly. And then you're gonna get your cardstock. The cardstock is stunning also. Let me just get this out for you here. You're going to get 24 sheets of pearlescent cardstock within this collection. Um, and it is all of these beautiful colours. Four different colours, six sheets of each, double-sided 
Uh, but that blue is absolutely stunning. Um, and again, here you can see the, the yellow, I think, shows up perfectly just how much of a pearlescent finish you've got on this cardstock. Got the racing green there to finish that off as well. Then on top of all of that, you get your consumables. This is beautiful. The brilliant florals is that 3D embossing folder with that gorgeous rose coming right to the fore there. Then on top of all of that, you've got the beautiful lace, edgeable alongside your elegant lace. And then you're going to receive a whole host of different sentiments as well, the heartfelt sentiments. And again, this is nice because you've got sentiments in here for, not generic is the wrong word, but sort of general sentiments, things like have a beautiful day, things like uh, sending you a little something uh, with caring thoughts. And also you've got sympathy sentiments in there as well. And whilst we don't want to use those too often, it's good to have those within our crafty stash. All of that you're getting for 39.20 if you're a Platinum member, 49.60 if you're Platinum and shopping in the US. Don't miss out. By the way, talking of missing out, I've also missed out showing you that you're going to get your embellishment pack. I need it with something else. So you get all the ribbons, the buttons, and the brads. 124 <laughs> days included uh, within this collection. Right, let us announce the winner of the demo of the show, and then we will announce well, oh no, we'll get the vote going because I don't know. There's me going. We'll announce the winner of the demo of the day because I already know what I want it to be. But anyway, demo of the show. <laughs> Two. Oh, I think it was this one, wasn't it? That one. Yes, it yes. was. Thank you. Um, so. Yeah, the, the butterflies on six. <laughs> It was always going to win, wasn't it? The butterflies <laughs> on sticks. So the big vote is now coming. This is a toughie, friends. Uh, voting for your favourite uh, demo throughout the day. So number one is the beautiful box um, that you made earlier on on Wake Up Call. That's the pop in number two, isn't it? It is, yeah. Which is, so that is one, just to, to avoid confusion. Two is, I mean, the amazing, amazing, beautiful, um, album that Michelle has put together. I mean, that's beautiful. And, and two goes, two becomes one. <laughs> so, <laughs> so two, one, and, <laughs> and then you've got three, which is the one with the butterflies on sticks, the pop-up card. I mean, take your choice. Um, good luck. Three absolute <laughs> worthy winners there. But what's it going to be? One, two or three. Get voting. Um, you've got about three minutes to get your vote in there. Whilst we're doing that, very quickly, I'll show you the Angel Collection. There's 30 of these remaining now. So it really has come down to the uh, last... <laughs> Sorry, Susie's just written because she's making notes on the show uh, as to which card was which. And she said, that's how I wrote that one down in my notes. Butterfly on stick. <laughs> that makes me happy. Uh, the Angel Collection, we've got... 30 chances left, and as I say, it's probably less than that because I know there'll be more of you with this in your baskets now. So it's 30 that we know of, um, probably less than with people in their baskets. The Angel Collection, so this is the complete collection minus the 12 by 12 paper pad, which is sold out. However, what you will get within this collection alongside everything that I'm showing you is the downloadable 8 by 8 pad. So you'll get that alongside your luxury linen cardstock. So again, here you're getting 24 sheets, four different colours, double-sided with that gorgeous linen effect. So it's quite difficult to show the linen effect on screen here, but you'll get to see it and appreciate it when you get it home in your, um, in your delivery. So you're getting that, 24 sheets there. Also, you're going to receive, as I've mentioned, the downloadable element of the 8x8 pad. Then you're going to get all of these goodies as well. So you've got your Angel Wings 3D embossing folder. Beautiful, stunning. There's no other collection quite like this, I don't think. So um, you know, if you've been looking for a collection for, you know, um, for sympathy cards, for, um, you know, wishing somebody well cards, for cards potentially for, you know, um, christenings, for, um, for, for, for weddings potentially, you know, for more religious connotations too. This is absolutely perfect. So that's your 3D embossing folder. You're getting two stamp and die sets here as well. So this one is called the Ethereal Angels. Um, it is the angel with the peace dove and then that feather. Feathers feature quite a lot in here, of course, as well, because I, I know a lot of people, um, when they see feathers, believe it's their guardian angel sending a signal. 
Uh, you've then got your angel prayer, which is the angel with the harp. You've got your angel blessings, which is all of the beautiful sentiments, things like I believe in angels, you're a blessing, you inspire me. Then you've got this set, which is the crossover of dies and stamps to create your own sentiment using the die cut angel and all of those stamps. There's beautiful angel wings in here as well, so to believe in angels die. We've got edgeables in here too, that beautiful eternal love. You've got the feathers appear. You've got the heaven sent. And pretty much if you go back through the day today and watch the shows, you'll see the majority of these items demoed um, on one or other of the shows. And then you've got the heavenly blessings, plus I did forget to mention the angel collection vellum. All of that is included in the bundle, saving 39.87. 5035. Oh, that was very Devonshire. 5035, my love, which comes down to £70.40 if you're platinum, or 8880 if you're shopping in the US. Winner. Oh, by the way, we do have on um, the website right now your booklet for the 17th birthday celebrations, which we get on Monday. So download the booklet now to find out everything which is going to be going on and more. Demo of the day. <laughs> Three. Really? No, two. <laughs> Number two. It had to be, didn't it? That's a, I mean, that is a cracker. Thank you. I mean, I, I'm, I'm putting it out there. That is going to be their demo of the week on Sunday. Um, there's some really good projects up there already. but I'm, Well, think... they won't be when I finished. What? <laughs> they won't be when I finished. Just swipe them all off into the bin. <laughs> what happens to all of the other mates? Oh, I don't know. Michelle was well, over there, though. If, if they're not there, they don't count. <laughs> I'll, I'll be making sure, along with whoever's with me on Sunday, that the proper procedures are in place <laughs> for the votes that come through. Um, so everything will be done, but I've got a feeling that one is going to be right in the running. A massive thank you to all of the team today for a brilliant, brilliant day. Thank you to Superstar Susie on the socials. Uh, she's back tomorrow um, on Mass Class and Craft House. So I look forward to that. Massive thank you to Michelle, who's been marvellous. Thank you very much. Thank you also to, who else has been on the socials today? Chloe, Grace, Caitlin. Thank you to Jake. Thank you to John. Thank you to Jamie. Thank you to Charlotte. And thank you to you for watching at home, for making it a very, very fun day. Shall we do it all over again tomorrow? I think we shall. We're in the craft house with Violet Studio from six. We've got a masterclass with Nesting Dyes at two. And be here tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. UK, 6 a.m. Eastern, 3 a.m. Pacific, where we've got Play Your Crafts Right, how good are you on remembering when certain items were launched? Hopefully you'll be better than us because I've got a feeling we're going to be hopeless. Tune in tomorrow morning to find out. Have a brilliant rest of your Friday, everybody. Uh, we will see you tomorrow morning here on Crafters TV. See ya.